called ketosis. Sounds like a medical term, but it's not that complex. Well, what is ketosis? Ketosis is nothing but the peakedness of the distribution. I may have a distribution like that, or I may have a distribution like this, or my distribution can be like that. Now, these three kinds of distributions differ by, by the amount of their peakedness. They have three typical names. You need to remember them. Now, this one, which looks much like a normal distribution, is a mesokurtic distribution. Mesokurtic. While this one, which is relatively flat like a plate, is known as platycurtic. Platycurtic. While this one, which has a long peak in the center, is called a leptocurtic distribution. Leptocurtic. Now, ketosis measures the way values are bundled across the center of the distribution. The values are bundled here, while if you can well see that the values are bundled very closely towards the center in a leptocurtic distribution, whereas they are more dispersed in a mesocurtic and still more dispersed in a platycurtic distribution. Um, now, we have a moment coefficient of ketosis, just like a moment coefficient for skewness. We just have two coefficients here. First one, let's do moment coefficient of ketosis. Now, moment coefficient of ketosis, also known as A4, is equal to the fourth moment about the mean, which is mu4, divided by the standard deviation raised to the power 4. There are lots of 4s here, contrary to the old formula where you saw lots of 3s, A3 equal to mu3 by S raised to power 3 for skewness, whereas the dosage has A4 equal to mu4 upon S raised to power 4. Nothing difficult there. The second coefficient for ketosis is the percentile coefficient of ketosis. Percentile coefficient of now this one uses percentiles. The numerator is half Q3 minus Q1. Those are quartiles. And does that ring a bell? Well, this is nothing but the semi-interquartile range, which you must have studied under dispersion. Semi-interquartile range. So the numerator is half Q3 minus Q1 which is divided by percentiles, that's P90 minus P10. Now I need to tell you about the answers. If you got an answer which is equal to 3 in this case, for moment coefficient of ketosis, 3, an answer of 3 means that your distribution is mesocurtic. 3 means mesocurtic. If your answer is less than 3, this means your distribution is platycurtic. Whereas if your answer is greater than 3, then your distribution is the last one, which is leptocurtic. This is for moment coefficient of ketosis. Coming to the percentile coefficient of ketosis, there is one standard value. This is often denoted by K, the Greek letter K. Now, if you get an answer which is equal to 0.263, this is a standard value. If your answer is 0.263, this means your distribution <coughs> is normal, which is mesocurtic. And similarly, if your answer is less than 0.263, your, your distribution is platycurtic, whereas if your answer is greater than 0.263, your distribution is leptocurtic. And that's all about skewness and ketosis. I hope you'll start enjoying your stats classes after, the, after seeing our videos. Thank you so much.